the diminishing daylight of Lexington. It's the season opener for the Kentucky Wildcats and the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. It's all a part of the SEC on ESPN. We are at Commonwealth Stadium in the Bluegrass State. It's been... Ball in split wide. Ito Smith on the direct snap. Got a block from his tight end, Washington. And Smith rumbles in for the score. In the run, you watch it here. Ito Smith with an excellent job of letting his blockers get out in front of him to buy him time. And he just was patient with that run. And this is one of the reasons why I say this young man has so many unique qualities. He can run inside. He's got the quickness and speed to beat to. The sophomore from Alito, Texas, Sean, for the point after. And the kick is good. On second and seven. Barker finds Jeff Bidet. But that's got great speed. Open Sesame! 72 yards, Barker to Bedet, and Kentucky's on the board. Developed right behind, and you see these offensive linemen get out. Great block there to get out in front of it. And this is the last guy you want to be looking at. The back of his jersey is Jeff Bedet, one of the fastest players on this team, if not the fastest. And though that in space where he can utilize that vertical speed. The extra point is good. Is the, the proximity everything is. There's no wasted time for these athletes, and they're able to perform at a high level. Barker escapes trouble, completes to Garrett Johnson. Johnson with a pass to the end zone, and he's in. Wide receiver did the rest of the work. The extra point by Austin McGinnis is good. First it was Jeff Bidette going 72 yards. Now Barker to Johnson, a 43-yard score. It's a great job there of avoiding pressure from Jabari Poole. Kentucky finding its rhythm offensively. And in our conversation yesterday with Eddie Grant, this guy is very... Holmes in motion. Four-man rush. Mullins pumps downfield. And it's intercepted with one hand. J.D. Harmon, his sixth career pick. Put an asterisk next to that one. Wow. Oh, my. I mean, pulling out the bag of tricks. He did a great job of getting on the inside pocket. I want you to watch him here at the top right of your screen. He's in the perfect location to defend this route ran by D.J. Thompson. He's got one hand on the wide receiver, great hand and eye coordination. What a fantastic finish to what was already excellent coverage. J.D. Harmon got the people out of the stands with that play. You're a former DB. Watch out for 6'6", K1 Ross, bottom of your screen wearing 19. Ross is wide open in the end zone, and he hauls it in for the score. Yeah, Nish, that was a great call. And I can say this much, their eyes lit up. And that is why he's a 6'6 target, and he's got a ton of talent to back that up. That time they're doing a nice job of finding space and making a catch in traffic to score his first touchdown of the year. A junior college transfer. Player down at the bottom of the screen. He's going to wiggle, find some space in here, and then release right into the back of the end zone. And as Barker is buying time, it allowed him the opportunity to make that second move. But it was great awareness to get over the linebacker and just outside of the reach of the safety. And Barker put the ball on money as Kay Ross, doing what he's done most of fall camp, make play. Austin Davis, by the way, first in passing attempts. Mullins downfield, and that is intercepted. And I know we've said a lot about Chris Restry and along with Derek Beatty. But he's got, this young man is the one that's leading this team right now at interceptions. Both of his interceptions have come at the highest point. I love that. Off play action. Mullins looking downfield, and that was nearly tipped, and it's intercepted. It was tipped and picked. Blake McClain, the third interception by Kentucky in this first half.
starting to get to Mullins. Um, he had busy feet on that particular drive, and he did not hit the right location. A lot of that has to do with the pressure Kentucky is putting on him right now. But give credit to the secondary. We call it tip drill. The idea is to try to tip the ball up and allow somebody to come right underneath it. Blake McClain was in the right location. But watch the feet here of Mullins. You see those busy feet. And you can tell that the pressure is now starting to get inside of his head. And when that's to give them a look so they can now choose a play. Parker, downfield, receiver open, it's caught. Touchdown, Kentucky. Garrett Johnson with his second TD grab of the game. This one. Pass of the night and totally right now outdueling and outplaying the quarterback on the opposite sideline, Nick Mullins. A Barker's been the best player on the field so far. Yes. He's gone at least 40 yards. Sean Field would handle the place kicking duties two for five a season ago. High snap, kick is up, and Sean Field put. JoJo Camp instead, straight ahead. Another touchdown for Kentucky. And what a tour de force off. The point after is McKinnis. Yeah, this just goes right up the middle behind that meet. Nick Haynes, John Toth, Ramsey Myers. As they win the line of scrimmage there, you see the pushback and the crease that opened up for JoJo Kemp as he churns those legs and gets into the end zone. 270. Mullins to the air. Over the middle, wide open, Jones. Isaiah Jones to the house. 71 yards. And Southern Miss gets a much needed touchdown. This was just brilliant play calling here, and they found what they were looking for the safety with horrible eyes coming from um, number 27, Mike Edwards. He got locked in on. PAT by Sean Field is good. His on screen appearances in the Netflix documentary Last Chance You. They're counting on him to fill some big shoes in the receiving game with Casey Martin and Mike Thomas Scott. Yeah, and they really do believe that this is a player that they can rely on in, in situations like this, where he can be a playmaker and win one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside. And if he can do that, let me tell you something, he will become... Mullins will try to sneak it in, and he gets the push from his line. Nick Mullins... Brings Southern Miss a little closer. The Kentucky defense really took it to them, but they were they they had command over what they were trying to do. I thought Shannon Dawson th throughout that series just now. Sean Fields' point after is good. Julian Allen, the tight end in motion, wide open in the end zone. He makes the catch, and it's a touchdown for Southern Miss. Twenty unanswered. And the momentum is swung to the other side. This is a team that is a quick strike offense. It looked like here they just had a wheel route and they had a pump and go, which held the corner, which allowed him to get over the top of coverage and make a play there, which ended up allowing them to score the touchdown. PAT by Sean Field, good. Lead late in the first half, 21 unanswered as Mullins hooks up with Allen. Try to go quickly. Mullins will try to sneak it in. Is he in on the second effort? Waiting for a signal. Touchdown, Southern Miss, and they have taken the lead. D for the Golden Eagles. The element of surprise. Tempo paying off. Downfield on second down. And that ball is intercepted. Trey Collins, in his second career start, has his first career interception. You're out at a practice and you're around defensive backs, you will hear them say hip pocket. What you're trying to do is you want to be in this position right here. And really what happened there was Trey Collins just turned into the wide receiver. He got a good beat on the ball, got it at his highest point, and 
if if I'm Kentucky, I'd like to see a better effort out of Richardson. He's 6'3". He's got... Leak is not out of the question here. This would be a 50-yarder. The kick is up. And it's good! How about that? Kick is up. And good. Safety's back. Three-man rush. Barker steps up. He's hit. And down he goes. The ball comes out. Southern Miss says they have it. He started it all with a block punt in the first quarter. This defense, it came out with different intensity in the second half. It's almost like they inserted new players in these jerseys and the big fella there. Championship game, and if they run through that Conference USA, you've got a nice non-conference win now against Kentucky. And maybe you can dream about even a New Year's Six Bowl. Jay Hobson delivers Southern Miss's first win against the SEC since 2000. The Golden Eagles trailed 35 to 10. They closed the game with 34 unanswered and a double-digit win on the road against Kentucky.